Good afternoon. Tran here with the Burning Tree Productions. How are you guys today? Um, today I'm going to do a video on soft close hinges. Um, the last close, soft close hinges I've had, they didn't actually do too well on soft close. It got so far down, and maybe it was just me. But I figure we'll go through it, figure it out, show the pieces, kind of show how to put them on and go from there. I'm trying to get you down a little bit closer. Drop you all the way down, I think. There we go. All right, let's do this. All right. So, uh, the tools you need you'll need a, a little drill bit, um, a screwdriver. A drill. I don't think you'll need a tape measure, but you know we got one here anyway. A pencil. All right, let's see what we got in. Just in case they really taped it, a good utility knife. All right. So let's see what we got. In. Those are important. Those are bushings. So we got two hinges, one in this package, one in this package. Let's go ahead and put that up too, just a tiny bit more. Okay. Um, what makes them work really good is they open up really good and then there's tension when it goes down. Um, this little nut right here is what tightens it with an Allen wrench. Take the Allen wrench, you tighten it up, the more it's going to be compressed. The more it's going to give you the tension you need. All right, so let's start with the first one. So we have the that hinge, and here's the, the parts that you use. Um, earlier I was saying, oh, I need those. Those are bushings that go in. Bushings. You can see them. They go inside the hinge. So this, these ones have it. I think they were just some extra ones. But basically, depending on where you want it at, closer so you can see for now and then I'll drop you down so you want it to come down but you want that hinge that that where the Allen wrench tightens and and pulls on the outside so this one this one here Obviously goes for the top of the of the chest or or door or whatever you're gonna put on. And then it just clips in like that. So it stays on there pretty good. I really like that. 
And the only reason why I say that is because the last one I had, it didn't. They just had to go together. Um, yeah. I kind of like those better. They used a screw to hold them in place, which, it, you know, I think it gives it a little bit more, but then... So again, it's just, these these ones are just snapping. They just snap like this, right in. Just like that. Then, hold on for a second. Bringing the rug a little bit closer because this old man's got some bad knees. So I'm going to bring you back here again. So now we want to know. So I got this laid up on the window. Or you can use a wall or you can use whatever to hold the, the lid up. See, like I said, you see that I have it on my window. So, okay, and that's about where I wanted that. Um, you want this side to be in the box, which is the flat side. You want it to be in the box, and you want that to be up there like that. Let's get, see it. Get a little bit closer so when it comes down though see see how it's hitting right there on the piece of wood right there so we know that that's not where we want it at because then it won't shut all the way so we're going to take it we're going to bring it down like that and then we'll bring it out And then we, need, we want to go below the line on this. So what I'll do is I'll take and I'll mark. Keep it level. And again, we want to make sure. So I'd like to go back just a tiny bit with that. As long as it'll go down, we're good. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way back. Just like that. Hold it in place with my fingers. Make sure it's kind of level with whatever you're going to do. And then mark it with a pencil. And then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes for that one. And, the reason why I pre-drill my holes is because I don't want. And then you want to make sure when you drill the hole, you know, it's not bigger than the drill bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, it's This one's actually a little smaller. But you want to make sure that it'll, it's not bigger than the drill bit because then it won't grab. Um, at least as big as the screw or, or a little smaller than that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill it, and obviously I don't want to go all the way through. Then we just give it an idea. That should be about right. So we'll take that. We'll make both both drills. Right. Put that there. Take the soft close. Hinge, take it, put it into place, and screw it in there.
Then you take the other one, do the same thing, just find your hole. Take it. And screw it in there. Now, up here on top, let me take you over and bring it over here so you can see it. Now, the thing is, is you don't want it here because that'll stop it. So we're trying to make sure that we stay pretty, you know, relatively so we have a gap right through in here. I don't know if you can see that gap or not. Not wanting to show it, but there's about a quarter inch gap right in there. I want to extend it all the way up. Give it, like I said, about a quarter inch. And I'll mark it again. Take it, hold the one down here. Make sure that it's level. Mark it. Make sure we're in the right spot. Mark it. And before we do any, just, just bring it down so you know you got good. Yeah. Basically what that's gonna do is that's going to allow it to be to drop down in there without any any uh, blockage. So we're going to take it. Again, you don't want to go all the way through. I mean, my drill can go all the way through. So I'm only going to do... Oh my God. Then you'll find the other screws. Get that back on there, like that. Might be easier to go at the bottom first. And you can use a power drill. I just am using a screwdriver. Now, the thing about this is, I did notice on this, I'm out just a tiny bit from it being straight. So, when I do this other side, I'm going to want it to be just like that. Just to make sure that this one's all the way up. Okay, now we're on this other side. I don't know if you can see it very well, so I'm going to bring you around here. And maybe you'll be better off right here. Good? Yeah. Cool. All right. We'll grab our drill again. Drill again. Okay. We'll get the contents. And once again, we'll take, make sure that this one's on the outside. 
See, and this has got, and, and I'll have to read the instructions, but if you see, it's got this little pin right there. I'm not sure what that's for, so I'm going to, I definitely want to read the instructions and see what that's for. Um, but again, you want to make sure this is on the, this is on the outside, this one goes on the inside. And then it'll clip just like well, that. You can see that it just snaps into place. There's this little tiny lip there. And you can just push up on it. And I actually really like those. The last, like I said, the last one was a screw. And it was a little, I think, more difficult to do. And again, just take it. Grab a hold of it. Snap it into place. And then again, we're going to take it, and we got to kind of, we want to kind of, we want to make sure that it's you know along with this one over here. So I'm going to take and kind of measure from the back side to my first screw over here. Flip you around. So we're going to make measure from this from the back of this wood to right here. And that way it would give me pretty close to the same dimension. So I'm at four and one eighth right there. So I want my first screw to be four and one eighth here. So when I go to put this on, again, we know we want it outside. We want it down, level, and I'll just kind of, and it's kind of hard to see, I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, I'm going to measure from the back side to about 4 and one eight. We'll bring it up. Let's say we're pretty close right there. And I'm just measuring from looking at this little area right in here to make sure it matches the one over there. Try and get you guys. I, I feel like I'm blocking you. So I'm going to come over here a little bit more. There's a. I want to mark it. Make sure we're levelish with this. So I'm going to mark it, and then I'll mark the next one. So I've got my two dots. So what I'm going to do is now take this and see if I'm about the same as I was over there. I am about four and a quarter, like I said. So we're going to take, we're going to drill it. Not go all the way through, just... enough for that screw to get in and again the reason why we do that is so it doesn't split the wood okay. now we'll take our hinge again and our screwdriver or impact screw
put the screws in those holes. Trying to get you guys closer, you can see, you can see, but I think I'm going to be blocking everything, everything. So, I'm sorry. Um, maybe you'll be able to see better over there. Even though it's farther away. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm just going to take the hole. Find it. Find the hole with the screw. Grab the drill bit. Or the screwdriver, sorry. Sure, it's going to have that quarter inch again, the quarter inch gap I showed you over there. And I'll bring you around. This time maybe you can see it a little bit better. Maybe not. Okay, yeah. So if you were looking straight down this, right here, there's about a quarter inch gap right there. We want to make sure that this isn't bend over like that or even barely going like that. We want to bring it up as high as we can and flat. Take our, again, make sure we have that quarter inch about between it. Take our pencil, mark it, mark it, move it over. Hold. Draw our hole. Put it in there. And don't lose the screw like that. as we can with it, as bad as we can. Tighten. Um, two reasons why I did this is because this hinge right here, this hinge right here is not a stop hinge. So, all it is is a piano hinge, so it's going to allow it to go and hit the bottom, do whatever. But the reason why I do this hinge here is because it stops it. So it's not resting up against anything now. So I like that. Ah, 
<laughs> Sometimes you drop those, drop the pieces. Okay, let's go ahead. All right, screw it in there. Um, so we got both of them done. And here's the instructions on them. It basically shows you what I've shown you how to do. Let's see here. So, I right, want to see what we got going here. Okay, so that's gonna go quick, right? We want okay. so it's still quick all right so basically this right here is what tightens and lowers it okay so basically there's a little screw that I showed you that's going to loosen it and basically what it's saying is it's going to, they're breaking, you know, they're going to break your, uh, so right now I've got it really loose, so it's able to just really nearly, you know, fall down, fall down, right? So tightening these. So look, it's just an Allen wrench screw, and you just stick it in the slot, tighten it. Now, if you watch, that's still pretty free, right? So we don't want it to be that way. We're going to tighten them up again. Now this side this side over here is going to go toward the lid or no away from the lid and this side well okay so this side over here is going to go down this side's going to go up so see how it's holding it okay that allows that you're not going to be able to you know it's going to give it a little bit more and it will hold it in place, but it's not going to hold it there. I mean, it'll drop and you can hear it. We can try tightening it up a little bit more. And I, I suggest if you're going to do it, tighten it up down where maybe you would like it to hold it at. So the further it goes down this way, the less you're going to get that bang. So right about there, you're going to get that bang. Now I don't know if adding three in here would work, help or not, but what I do like is it does stop it, so it can go down slowly. Again, right there, right there. It's going to slowly go down, which allows you to not slam your fingers or kids slam their fingers. So, anyway, 
thanks for joining me again. Um, hopefully this was a pretty good video. Um, so this is Trent Malcolm from the Burning Tree Productions. Have a nice day.